So before we start this video, I actually want to let you guys know that this video is being sponsored by Goodwall. Goodwall is a mobile first social networking application that is free of charge to download. No premium subscription at all. You go on there and you can connect with other students and young professionals on the platform to talk more about your journey in CS coding. You can also partake in some challenges to win some cash prizes. Let me show you guys around the app show you more of what it's about and then get into something specific that I think is going to be really, really cool for the most of you. This is what the homepage of the application looks like. You can scroll down and see plenty of posts from everybody around the world. You've got the Philippines, UK, Kenya, uh, Nigeria, you name it. You know, there's going to be plenty of students. There's 1.6 million professionals and students on this platform already. So there's a plethora of people to connect with up to the top left. You can click there and that will be your profile. You can see how many people are following you, how many views you've got look at your about me you can enter in your work experience so i've got a couple experience that i've tacked on from the years in there and if you scroll down you can also list some big achievements i listed my 10k subs on youtube as a big achievement because i do consider that one of my biggest ones yet and there's plenty of more down here if you guys click the magnifying glass to the bottom left you will see that there is a discovery page and here is where you will find a lot of the challenges some of the hashtags that they have and just discover other things but what i specifically want to talk about is hashtag coding story good wall is hosting a challenge called hashtag coding story that is also being supported by IBM where you guys can submit a short video of yourselves talking about your journey into CS, how you got in there, what you, what got you into coding to it in order to inspire others to do the same. All you have to do is take part, share a post. It'll autofill the hashtag coding story. And I am going to post one of my videos that I have taken for this and bam, all you have to do, it's going to upload it, hit post, and you've already submitted it and you now have a chance to win a thousand dollars cash prize so you guys can head over to the app store or the google play store in order to download this thing you can also head to the link in the description to get your chance at winning that thousand dollars that being said let's hop into the video there's one thing that i actually wish i knew more of before when i was actually getting into coding this is not something that someone teaches you this is not something that you know, someone can hand you on a silver platter. This is something that's learned along the way when you're in your journey of learning how to code and it doesn't, it's, you don't experience it right away. This is something you experience over time and something that I wish more people were aware of and knew how to kind of manage through. And it's something that stops so many people from continuing their journey when they're learning how to code or just like stopping outright because they're, they become intimidated and they don't want to continue because of this thing. And this one thing has been a topic on my podcasts, on my live streams recently, and you know, talking with other devs out there, this is something that's huge in the space. And I feel like more people should be aware of, especially, you know, the people that watch me, a lot of people comment saying, you know, that I inspire them in some ways or I motivate them and what I say keeps them going. But this one thing, you know, you see me on social media, you see other people on social media, whether it be YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, you see all these big people, right? It seems like they've got it made out. It seems like they've made it big. It seems like they're getting the big money or their lives are perfect in and curated in a certain way where you want that lifestyle. You want to live their lives. You want what they want. You want to be doing the jobs they're doing. You want to be making the projects they're making. In some form or fashion, you want to be living their lives and you want to be doing it now. Now, the problem with that is you want to be doing it now. And that's the one thing that stops a lot of people in their tracks. See, the one thing that I, I see a lot of and that happens when there are not, you know, I'm live streaming and someone comes in the chat and says something that relates to this or someone in my DMs or my comments on Instagram will say something related to this and that they're experiencing issues with this problem in the fact that they are trying to follow all these social media influencers, follow all these different devs on Twitter or follow senior devs in general and try to be where they're at or they're reading medium articles of developers who've made it in a month three months, six months, a week. I've never seen a week, but you never know if that's really truly possible. So you read all these things, you see all these things, you see all these people and you wanna live their life now, then becomes the issue. Can you do it now? 90% of the time, you probably can't. You see those people who have actually made it in those time frames, or who have made it now, there's two things that come with that. One, the people who've made it in that time frame, whether it be three months, six months, you know, whatever short period of time that they made it as a dev in, they're outliers, right? They were given a certain situation, a certain set of cards that were dealt to them where it's specific to them and no one else. 
I'm not knocking the people that made it as a dev in that certain period of time. I think it's great. I think that's awesome. Good for them. I wish I could do that. I wish I could make it as a dev and I'm still waiting for my shot. But understand that you have to go at your pace. You cannot follow people like that because you read an article, simply use it as inspiration. Don't take it like, oh, this person can do it. I now want to do that. I want to do it in three months. I want to go from construction working over to front end dev in three months. Let's do it. Am I saying it's impossible? No, but understand that it's very unlikely that it might happen. And I'm not trying to downplay or unmotivate some people by saying that, but I'm trying to make you understand it from a realistic standpoint that doing something like that in that certain amount of time is, is very, very hard. Do you have the time to put aside to do that in three months? Can you quit your job, which you probably shouldn't in order to learn how to code and get a front end dev job in three months, six months? Is that possible? Probably not, right? And when you see all these senior devs, this is the second thing. You need to not look at the end product or the product that you're looking at right now. What you're looking at right now most likely resemble years and years and years of work and curating and, you know, mastering their craft. You, know, you see, like the devs that have made it, the, the, the devs that are creating projects right now that are substantial, practical, awesome, cool, and the things that you wanna be doing, look at their journey. And the reason why I do my podcast is to kind of unfold that, right? That's part of it. You get to see some developers and see where their journey was, how they started, how long it took them to get to where they're at, and really understand that there is no rush to this thing. They took the time, they put in the work to actually get to where they're at right now. And it's not that they woke up all of a sudden, picked up a computer, started coding, and now they're at where they're at. No, they started where you started. No one starts at just knowing how to code. It's impossible. No one just knows off the bat, hey, this is this is how I do a for, for loop and like they've never had any experience with JavaScript. That's just not it. Understand and put some perspective on the fact that the people that you are looking at right now and quote unquote idolizing have put in time and have put in work in order to reach the goals and the dreams that they had previously in order to become a dev. And now to the whole point of this video is go at your pace. Pacing is so key. Pacing is key. And I always use pacing as an analogy when I go to CrossFit or any kind of workout that requires, you know, hit or very, very intensive cardio where your heart rate is jacked up. You don't want to be going into a 30 minute workout hauling ass at the very beginning of, of the workout. If you haul ass for the first 10 minutes and you've got 20 minutes left, well then you've taken out so much energy from yourself in the first 10, can you sustain that for the last 20, right? And it's the same analogy that I'm gonna use for coding. If you go all in and try to put your chips into fitting in all that curriculum or all that learning in three months, rather than spanning it out and pacing yourself through a whole year and seeing where you can get, well, what does the three months look like? You're most likely going to burn out. You're most likely going to skip over a bunch of things that you need to know. You're not going to have a good foundation of the basics, whether it's front end, back end, whatever it is you're learning. And again, you're going to burn out, right? Like this first half is very important. If you don't pace yourself correctly, you're going to hate it and you're most likely going to quit. And that's what I hate seeing is when people dedicate themselves so much that they drive so hard at the beginning and at the very end, they're either not here or they're just burnt out and they don't understand it. When they get to this point, they're pissed off at themselves because they're not hired right now. They're not, you know, doing something like someone they saw on social media and they're not coding projects. They're not doing anything. Why? Because they took too much time here and now they're here and mentally they're jumbled. So understand that this is not a race. Pace yourself. This is very important that you need to understand. Do not follow other people that you see on social media. The only things you should take from other people that are on social media is the fact that they have what you want, right? Use it as inspiration to get it, but don't follow them. Your life is your life and your journey is your journey. Make it that. You should live your own unique life. Everyone has different variables in life, whether it be work, school, family, things like that. There's so many things that get in the way and there's so many differing things that make you unique to the rest of the people in the community. Being that, you being unique, you cannot follow other people because the variables make that difficult to follow. There is not a specific set of guidelines or instructions that everyone can follow and get the same results. I'm sorry, life does not allow for that. You need to follow what you are given, the set of cards that you are dealt. Follow that, navigate around that, navigate life, and 
mesh encoding where you can. Obviously, don't, you know, burn any bridges. Don't, you'll have to make sacrifices, but don't make ultimate sacrifices in order to do this thing, but make it fit in your lifestyle. And eventually in the long term, it'll all pay off. The patience, the pacing, it'll all pay off. Do not burn out in the first half. Elongate that journey and make sure you can stretch that goal out to the very end so that way you're mentally prepared, you're mentally healthy, and that you have good foundations in code. That's the one biggest thing that I could recommend is pacing yourself so that you have a good foundation to code, and I am a prime example of that. I rushed through my process. I don't want to get to JavaScript, so why? What did I do? I skipped over CSS heavily, and what am I doing right now? I'm paying the price because I'm, right now I'm coding, vanilla v I'm coding vanilla CSS because I know nothing. Not that I don't know anything. I know stuff, but it's not great. It's not great. That being said, understand that pacing is a very, very big skill that you need to achieve. Do not watch other people. Follow your own process, follow your own journey, document it. I would love to hear your guys' stories. I would love to hear your guys' issues or questions in the comments on this topic because it's very, very huge. People have a problem with it and I want people to be more aware of it. Do not follow other people on social media, not follow like hit the follow button, which you guys should do on my Instagram, by the way. Like don't idolize their life so much that you want to make their life yours. Your life is yours, their life is theirs. They made it in their way, you make it in your way. Make yourself unique, live your life. And I will always preach that, right? My life is not yours, you can't do what I'm doing. You can do it in your own way. The things that I'm doing, making YouTube videos, going on Instagram, coding things, you can do it in your own way. But don't try to copy everything that I'm doing in the way that I'm doing it, if that makes sense, right? Again, be unique be you and you guys got this i would love to hear you guys a story like i said hit me up in the comments dms if you guys want to join the discord and share your stories you guys can go down into the link in the description and check out the invite link if you guys want to join the devs den which is my discord community we have an awesome community it's actually crazy such a small community but we're all so active in it and we love talking to each other and we love working with each other right now i'm working on some projects that we can all collaborate on as a community we do some among us streams now that i will try to be doing weekly if not multiple times a month and I do live streams often where a lot of the Discord viewers come in and just kind of chat and hang out. So if you guys want to do that, like I said, links down in the description. If you'd like to join, hit the like button, comment and subscribe. It would definitely help me out if you guys enjoy the video and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out.